At just 17 years old, Silento was already on top of the world. He had the biggest song of the year, spawning many viral dance challenges and amassing almost 2 billion views on YouTube. But now, he's rotting away in jail for murdering his cousin? What? So what happened? How did Silento go from this to a convicted killer? Well, let's talk about it. Richard Lamar Hawk, known by rap name Silento, was born in a small town in Georgia, but quickly moved to Atlanta after he was born. At just 16 years old, Silento came up with an idea for a new hit song. Many hip hop tracks from the late 2000s and early 2010s exploded on social media thanks to their music videos, but more specifically, their dance moves. Whether it was Soulja Boy's Superman, The Dab, or The Bobby Shmurda, these viral dances were everywhere, and Silento wanted to take advantage. He convinced popular Atlanta producer Bolo to help him make the song, and began releasing clips of it on Twitter and Vine. These videos quickly gained traction, and other creators began making their own videos recreating the dances. Silento became an overnight sensation, and used the success to sign with music label Capitol Records. He officially released his song, Watch Me, in March of 2015. Watch Me's catchy beat and dance-forward content caught the attention of a startup known as DanceOn. DanceOn was a digital media company who partnered with dance creators and other popular influencers to help them promote their videos and their music. DanceOn used their content creators to make tutorial videos to Watch Me, naming it the Watch Me DanceOn campaign. These videos quickly reached over 200 million views in just a few months, and pushed the song all the way up to number 3 in the Billboard Hot 100 rankings. A huge wave of success in such a short time would be terrifying for anybody, but Silento seemed to thrive in it. He appeared on various popular radio shows to promote the viral song, always sporting a lot of confidence and a positive attitude. Well-polished young gentleman, I could not be more proud of this guy. He's getting it with 100% confidence and personality. Silento is a cool ass kid. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders. I hope that he stays grounded and positive. Silento kept the hype train rolling, posting the Watch Me music video on YouTube in June of 2015. It was set in a high school in Atlanta, with Silento performing each of the dance moves with students, cheerleaders, and various dance crews surrounding him. The video exploded on YouTube, and now currently sits at just under 2 billion views. Celebrities and TV shows around the world were quick to jump on the trend, with some of the cringiest attempts at dancing ever seen. Break your legs, Come on, break them! <laughs> Silento even partnered with Nickelodeon for their Labor Day weekend special, and later performed at the Kids' Choice Awards in March. Watch Me went six times platinum, spending 18 weeks on the top 10 charts, and set Silento up financially for the rest of his life. Watch Me also received two nominations for Best Song at the MTV Music Awards and the Teen Choice Awards. But just because the song was successful, didn't mean that it was good. Watch Me was met with heavy criticism from almost every credible music source in existence. It was ranked as 2015's second worst song by Rap Radar, and might have some of the worst lyrics ever written down. Silento was immediately given the title of a one-hit wonder, being compared to absolute bangers like Rebecca Black's Friday and What Does the Fox Say? But the hate didn't seem to bother Silento at first, as he always had a smile on his face, taking pictures with fans and dancing with them at concerts. But that was just on the surface. In reality, Silento grew up in an extremely volatile environment, with drugs and abuse being very common in his house. I saw family members talk on the wall. I watched family members fight. I watched family members try to kill each other. Nobody should have to watch that. Because of this, Silento struggled with depression and other mental health issues during his childhood, eventually landing him in juvie when he was 14. After the success of Watch Me Whip, the mass amounts of hate and disrespect for the song online started to affect Silento, and his depression returned once again. The overnight fame, 
just added more pressure and judgment to a young kid that was already struggling. He'd reveal these issues to the world on an episode of The Doctors, revealing his dark past and how much the success of Watch Me really affected him. Silento's music career didn't fare any better, as he couldn't seem to shake the one-hit wonder tag. His first two mixtapes, titled Fresh Outta High School Part 1 and 2, completely flopped, only managing a few hundred thousand streams each, well below the heights of his first single. While the music itself was a step up, the novelty of Silento had worn off a long time ago, and all that was left was some mediocre rapping over some really basic beats. Silento drifted further and further into obscurity, and his mental health paid the price for it. On August 28th, 2020, Silento was arrested and charged with domestic violence. He got himself released the next day, but found himself right back in jail. The night of his first arrest, his girlfriend had allegedly posted some lewd pictures of Silento on Twitter. This sent him into a frenzy, and he ultimately walked into a stranger's house wielding a hatchet while supposedly looking for his girlfriend. He was charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon to go along with his felony domestic abuse charge, but was able to post bond and avoid remaining in jail. Two months later, Silento was arrested again for speeding and reckless driving, as he was caught by police going 143 miles per hour on the interstate highway. It was clear that Silento's mental health had gotten worse, to the point where he was a danger to those around him. His support system also seemed weak. His grandparents wanted nothing to do with him, and his relationship with his girlfriend was extremely strained. But things only got worse for him the following year. In January of 2021, Silento's cousin, a man named Frederick Rooks, was found shot and killed in DeKalb County in Georgia. But who killed him? You already know who it is! Silento quickly became the prime suspect and was soon charged with malice murder and felony murder. Silento was denied bond due to his history with mental health issues, as he was considered a flight risk. Even his grandparents pleaded to the judge to deny his bail request, as they felt he would cause further harm to his community. The only person who seemed to have Silento's back was his publicist, Chanel Hudson, who posted on her Instagram asking his fans for positive vibes and support. According to her, Silento had been suffering from a multitude of mental health illnesses, and he was still in need of major treatment. Silento was officially indicted on August of 2021 for his crimes, but to this day, no trial has taken place. Even though it's been three years, there are still very few details about what happened that night, and no major evidence has been released to the public by the prosecution. While Silento may not be innocent, there's clearly more to the story that we don't know, which may shine some light on what Silento's been going through over the past few years. A recent photo of Silento in DeKalb County Jail has surfaced, and it's safe to say he's looking much different. The story of Silento isn't your typical rise and fall. He wasn't corrupted by greed and fame. In fact, he seemed to thrive in it. But trying to navigate through such massive success and hate at such a young age was impossible, and his chronic mental health issues throughout his life only worsened the problem. But it's crazy to think that the man known for whipping and nay as a kid now faces life in prison for murder at just 23 years old.